I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and this is my review and installation of the Red Rock 4x4 Stubby HD front bumper with LED light bar provision and winch mount fitting all 2007 and up JKs. Today we're going to talk through the installation of this bumper, which is a very simple one out of three wrench installation. This will bolt directly in place of your factory front bumper without any major modifications needed. We're also going to talk about the construction and a few of the other features of this bumper. This bumper is gonna be for those of you who wanna upgrade your factory plastic front bumper to a bumper that's going to provide more protection, but also a lot more features on the front of your Jeep, as well as giving you that more hardcore off-road look. Generally, a stubby bumper is for those running 37 inch tires and larger that need the additional clearance between your tire and your front bumper. However, a lot of you just like the look of a stubby front bumper, and there's nothing wrong with that. Running a stubby front bumper can provide that off-road look a lot of you guys are after. Especially if you're running a narrow set of front fender flares, a stubby front bumper can look really good. This bumper does have a lot of features that you might be looking for in an aftermarket front bumper, and it does it all at a really reasonable price. So as far as the construction goes, let's get right into the features that this bumper has. Right up front, of course, you can see that it has two D-ring mounts, which are a really nice feature if you plan on wheeling your Jeep. Even though this also has a winch mount right up on top, having the D-ring mounts will allow you to use a snatch strap for that type of recovery, or even a snatch block to go around a tree, back to your bumper, essentially doubling the pulling power of your winch. So having the D-ring mounts on there is a really great feature, even when you have the winch mount built in. As I said, this does have a built-in winch mount, but it does seem to be a little bit of an afterthought. I always feel that way when you have a smooth top bumper that just has some holes drilled into it for your winch. Now, if that doesn't bother you, if you like the way that that looks, if you're more of a form over function person, then this is absolutely going to work. In my opinion, I prefer to see a sunken winch or a winch that's molded into the bumper a little bit further. But again, that is just a personal preference thing. There's nothing wrong with the way this winch mount is. And of course, it does come with a fair lead mount as well. Finally, up on top, you'll see that this does have a bumper hoop integrated into it that does have two additional light mount tabs on top of it. Now, I say additional because right in the name, this does have provision for an LED light bar. This is going to accept a 13 and a half inch light bar right in the center here. It has the mounts. It's designed to bolt right in there, which will make it mounting very easy and also make mounting very clean. I said before that I feel like the winch mount is a bit of an afterthought. However, if you want to have a bumper that has a frenched in light bar like this one does, there's not a lot of room to sink the winch in. So you kind of have to have one or the other, especially on a stubby bumper where you don't have a ton of real estate. Another feature up here on the front of the bumper are a couple of cutouts below your light bar, which are really just there for style more than anything else, but they do dress up the look of this bumper. The hoop provides those additional light mounts that we talked about before, also some additional style, and a little bit of protection for the grill, the headlights, the winch, from brush and branches as you're going down those narrow trails. Getting this bumper installed on your Jeep is a very simple one out of three wrench installation, and all you're going to need is about an hour time and your traditional hand tools out of your toolbox. The first step will be bolting on a winch if you are going to be running one and bolting in your light bar. Once you have the bumper bolted onto the Jeep, it is a little bit more difficult to get to the mounts for the winch and the light bar. So I would recommend getting those bolted up before you install the bumper onto the Jeep. You can also install the top four bolts that hold this hoop mechanism onto the bumper as well for the same reason. Once you have your bumper assembled as a package, all you need to do is remove your factory front bumper, which is done by removing the nuts that hold it in place, removing the splash shield, the frame guard from the top, and making sure that you remove your fog lights and unsnap your fog light wiring harness before removing the bumper. After that, you just set your new bumper over your frame horns and bolt it into place with the eight bolts that bolt in from the front directly through the bumper into the frame horns, giving you plenty of strength for recoveries and for winching. Again, the whole installation is about an hour and just your traditional hand tools are needed. 
Red Rock 4x4 is known for making some high quality products at a lower price point than you might find them from some other brands. Now, the material that this is made out of is a little bit thinner than some of the other bumpers on the market, which some of you look at it as positive because this is lighter weight and won't sag as much, especially if you're installing a winch, while others might want a heavier material that will offer a little bit more protection. And that's certainly available, but you are going to have to spend a little bit more money for it. This is a inexpensive bumper that has a lot of features built into it that also looks pretty good in my opinion. So overall, I think it's a pretty good buy. So if you're looking for a stubby front bumper for your JK that has a winch mount, provisions for an LED light bar, additional light mount tabs, D-rings, a bumper hoop, all of these different features, but all without breaking the bank, this is going to be an easy to install option. So that's my review of the Red Rock 4x4 HD stubby front bumper with LED light bar provision and winch mount, fitting all 2007 and up JKs that you can find right here at extremeterrain.com.